A city in the eastern U.S. desperately needs cash, so it's turning to the Wild West. Yesterday, it auctioned off a gun once owned by Wyatt Earp for $35,000. Jeff Begay shows us why it will take a lot more than that, though, to pay the bills. Pennsylvania's capital city, Harrisburg, was once considered the gateway to the West. Now, more than 8,000 of Harrisburg's Wild West artifacts are hitting the auction block as the city begins to dig out of bankruptcy. We had heard rumors of this collection. I think everyone in the world of antiques and historic objects had sort of heard, gee, there's some massive co unknown collection in Harrisburg. Arlen Edinger is the president of Guernsey's auction house, which is managing the sale with items ranging from Wyatt Earp's gun to Native American pottery. Annie Oakley's original leather suitcase made expressly for her by a then young company named Louis Vuitton. How cool is that? The relics were purchased by former Harrisburg Mayor Stephen R. Reed. He spent an estimated $8.3 million of public funds on the collection with the intention of opening a museum to increase tourism revenue. But the museum never opened. He acquired thousands and thousands of objects. Uh, from the smallest little uh, pistols to major sized stage coasters and taxidermy buffalo. Things were not stored in any rational way. It was as if everything had just been thrown in. The once boxed up and forgotten Western artifacts are actually a small fraction of Harrisburg's financial trouble. Right across the street from the saddles and wagon wheels is the city's trash incinerator. Rebuilt in 2003 for $125 million, it is broken down repeatedly and now is said to be the biggest drain on the town's budget. Harrisburg's total debt is a staggering $350 million. We were just in a financial collapse when I took office. Linda Thompson became mayor in 2009 following Reed's 28-year tenure. Finally, the governor got involved and introduced legislation to put the city into receivership. That gave us a lot of relief uh, and took out the politics. William Lynch is the state-appointed receiver tasked with getting the city out of the red. The debt is a looming uh, potential disaster uh, that weighs people down. The normal ways of doing business have been removed from the city. We have to raise the optimism level in the city. We have to have people focus on the future rather than the past. Bidding at 100, bidding at 50. But the city will focus on the past, at least for the next few days. $230 for bidder number 800. For CBS This Morning, Jeff Begay's Washington. Now we should point out there are some charges that some of the pieces in the auction are not authentic. The former mayor, Stephen Reed, Reed, says, quote, there were items acquired that are not artifacts. These were for decorative purposes in keeping with the museum time period focus and in some cases for sale to the public in the gift store. But $350 million for one city? Incredible, isn't it? Yeah, deep debt.